Hey guys, welcome back from break. Um, today we're going to start off by talking about pollution and conservation. And our focus question is going to be what are the types of pollution and how can we reduce the amounts? So pollution is the introduction of contaminants into a natural environment causing harm to the environment. So these are things that are not normally in the environment but are introduced and then can harm the actual environment. And there's two different types we're going to talk about. One is called point source pollution, and this one comes from one source of air, water, thermal, noise, or light pollution. So like you see this factory and their smokestacks, this would be a considered point source solution, pollution. And then we have non-point source pollution, and this refers to both water and air pollution from many different sources, such as runoff from agriculture. So as you see in this um, picture, you have the um, river here that's been polluted by non-point source solution or many different sources. Land pollution is the destruction of Earth's land surfaces due to human impacts. So this is solid waste, pesticides and fertilizers, chemicals, and then also deforestation. So you see here we have an example of solid waste and down below deforestation where we're clear cutting or cutting all the trees out of an area. Water pollution is um, pollution of any type of water source. So this could be groundwater, um, oxygen depletion or oxygen being removed from the water, nutrient overload where there's too many nutrients perhaps from fertilizers being dumped in, um, any other type of chemical, and then surface water pollution as well. And these are some examples of pollution, water pollution right here. So conservation, what can we do? Um, and everyone's heard this phrase, reduce, reuse, recycle. So one thing we want to do in order to conserve or save or help um, the planet would be to um, work on our conservation. So what are some different ways we can help? We can buy biodegradable products. Um, we can dispose of any personal trash or litter um, properly. We can store all liquids, liquid chemicals and um, waste in spill-proof containers. We can eat organic foods that are grown without pesticides or um, look out for fertilizer or pes pesticide-free products when you go to the, the market. So um, encouraging the growth of these types of um, plants and this type of farming would be one way. Don't use pesticides if you can help it. And if you do, natural ones are okay. Use a drip tra tray to collect engine oil. So when you change the oil on your um, car, use it. make sure you use a drip tray to collect it so it gets disposed of properly. Buy products that have little packaging. So that plastic packaging tends to end up somewhere in our oceans or in the ground, and this would be a source of pollution. And lastly, um, just like we said to use a drip tray, don't dump motor oil on the ground. Um, so let's get, do a little bit of benchmark review before you guys move on to your um, interactive for today. This is the part of the earth that has the least amount of pressure. The crust. The part of the earth that has the highest temperature. The core. The part of the earth that moves very slowly. The mantle. And bonus points if you can tell me what this movement is called. A convection current. Part of the earth that is described as a solid metal ball. The inner core. The part of the earth that has the highest amount of pressure. The core. The part of the earth that contains the upper mantle and the crust. This is called the lithosphere. And the type of evidence we use to learn about the rock's layers, it uses rock samples. Direct. What is the name of the giant landmass that was on the earth 260 million years ago? Pangea. This is a plate boundary where two plates move apart from each other. Divergent. 
a plate boundary where two plates slip past each other in opposite directions. Transform. Plate boundaries where two plates come together. Convergent. Go ahead and move on to your interactive today. The instructions are in your packet. Whenever it mentions red, make sure that you're looking for the letter or the number that is circled um, because we cannot print in color. Once you're done with that, don't forget to do your exit tickets.